Hey guys, what's up? The first to integrate this expression gets $1 million. Wait, Obama, I think I missed this. How do you integrate? Yo, bro. Okay, I'll teach you real quick. So if you remember, derivation is the act of taking the derivative of a function. It's asking the question, if this is the original function f of x, what is the derivative or f prime of x? Bro, obviously derivation is the act of taking the derivative. It's in the name. Keep going. Geez, Joe, have some patience. So integration is the opposite of derivation. It's asking the question, if this derivative is f prime of x, what is the original function f of x? You'd have to take a step backwards instead. Let's look at the power rule of derivation. If we have a function x to the n, the derivative is n times x to the n minus 1. But to integrate, we need to do the reverse using something I call the anti-power rule. So if the function is x to the n, the integral is x to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. Oh, how scabidi, Obama. So like if the function is x cubed, the integral is 1 fourth x to the 4. Oh, and this makes sense because if you derive 1 fourth x to the 4, you get x cubed, the original function. Never say scabidi again, Biden. But yes, however, you missed one part. It is true that deriving 1 fourth x to the 4 gives you x cubed. But if you derive the function 1 fourth x to the 4 plus 3, you'd also get x cubed. So to account for the infinitely many constants you could add to the integral, we add a plus c to the end of the integral. Never forget the plus c Biden that is bad. Oh, thanks, Obama. I think I got it. Maybe next time you can teach me how to integrate when I can't use anti-power rule. Subscribe.